What's going on everyone, D-Legend here. Today we have a massive, massive, insanely cool mail day video for Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm really excited to show you guys all the stuff that I picked up recently. Before I start this video though, I want to ask you guys to subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon and Kingdom Hearts content. And uh, yeah, let's get started with this mail day. It's a, it's a, it's a really big mail day, guys. Um, a lot of the same packs, but a really big quantity of certain packs. So I'm really excited to show all these things off to you guys. Um, I don't actually have anything in this bubble mailer. I'm just keeping this on top of this package um, that I can't really show you. I guess I could show you. It's right there. Um, so that I don't show you guys my address or anything like that. But uh, yeah, let's get started with the packs that we have right here first. So and I'll move this off to the side so we have a bit more space. So first and foremost, you can see a bunch of packs here, right? And they say $4.99 each for some of them but they're definitely not $4.99 each at this point in time. Um, so yeah, I picked up all of these packs from one big, big retailer, and uh, this was actually a bit of a funny story. So there, it's a, it's a pretty long story, but long story short, basically I got these packs from a storage sale, technically, because there was a distributor that found a storage locker um, that had bunches and bunches of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff and some lucky people in the community got a hold of the majority of the, the amazing packs before me so they got light of destruction phantom darkness a bunch of things like that um some tactical evolution cybernetic revolution i think even um and unfortunately i didn't get a hold of any of that stuff but as you can see here we do have some really really cool packs as well we've got some cosmo blazer first edition uh i have 24 packs of that i also have 24 packs of Return of the Duelist, another beautiful Zexel set. And then, obviously, we do have our Extreme Victory here. These packs are not cheap these days, and they will only go up in price. And I picked up 120 of these packs. I've already opened a couple of these off-camera just to make sure they were legit, and I did pull a Secret Rare uh, Blue Rose Dragon. Let me just find it real quick for you guys here. So I did pick this guy up from one of the packs that I opened, and now I'm at I'm, I've opened a total of five packs of Extreme Victory, and this is the first pull that I've gotten. So I'm really quite happy with that. It's a really great looking card, as you can see here. Look at that Secret Rare lettering; it's beautiful. And back then, Secret Rares, like when this set first came out in I think 2000, I want to say 2010, maybe 2009. Um, this like Secret Rares were very very hard to find and very hard to pull. So I'm really happy with that, for sure. And we're actually going to be opening up some of these packs in a future pack battle. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to tell you who we're pack battling yet. But make sure you guys stay tuned for that pack battle because it's coming up right away here. Um, and it'll be an amazing pack battle. But we also have Raging Battle. This is amazing. I got, I think there was only 22 packs of this, but I picked up all 22 packs of Raging Battle that were left from the retailer. And unfortunately, guys, I can't tell you guys my source because he told me specifically not to let anybody know who he was. Uh, but I was very, very lucky and uh, thankful that I have some connections within the community who helped me to track down this person to begin with. And I'm thankful that he actually sold these to us, even though it took so long to actually finally get some uh, all these packs in hand. Because it took forever for, um, for me to actually make the purchase to decide what to buy. Um, to actually get the mail sent, I mean, get the order sent over to uh, to the guy. That guy had to order from his wholesaler, so his distributor who had the access to the storage locker with all these packs. And then the distributor had to finally get everything sorted, send them over to the store. And then the store finally packed them up and sent them to us. And in total, it took about three weeks for this whole thing to get sorted. But I'm really happy that it got sorted because as you can see here, these are amazing packs. This is a distributor box of Extreme Victory. This is 24 packs, and the ratio should be pretty similar to a booster box. Obviously not identical, because these were loose packs to begin with, but the distributor did put them in here. Um, so hopefully the ratios are pretty similar to a booster box, at the very least. Hopefully we can pull a couple alties out of these. I do have two of these, and then I sent off a couple of them to a good friend of mine, and you'll see his video pretty soon here, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, there you go. Guys, there's 120 packs of Extreme Victory. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of these packs for me, let me know in the comments below, or actually, better yet, contact me on Instagram, at dlegend underscore Yu-Gi-Oh, 
I'll leave a link to that in the description below, or I'll leave my username so you guys can contact me. Um, but I also will be probably selling a few packs of Cosmo Blazer and Return of the Duelist as well. Might not be selling these quite yet. I might hold on to these for the time being, but we'll see. I'm definitely going to crack open some of the Raging Battle packs for the future um, in this uh, on this channel in a video. But uh, yeah, there you have it, guys. A bunch of packs, as you can see. And this is just an amazing sight. I love old school packs. And I'm really excited to crack open all these packs because Cosmo Blazer has, obviously... Um, what is it, number 53 Heart Earth Dragon as a Ghost Rare, Ultimate Rare, and Ultra Rare. So I am super excited to hopefully pull one of those. Extreme Victory obviously has Junk Berserker in Ghost Rare and Ultimate Rare. And I think my friend Casual Yugi Stuff, or Jamie, actually has the only copy of Junk Berserker in PSA 10 as a Ghost Rare uh, first edition. So hopefully we can pull one of those as well. That'd be awesome. And uh, then we can sub that to PSA ourselves and hopefully get a 10 as well. But uh, yeah, and then out of Raging Battle, obviously we do want Power Tool Dragon in Ghost Rare or Ultimate Rare. That would be amazing. Um, and then Return of the Duelist. I don't remember this guy's name. It's Excalibur, Heroic Knight Excalibur or something like that. I don't remember, but another cool Ghost Rare to pull for sure. And obviously another Zexal set, so not lots of Ultimate Rares and really cool Secret Rares to be pulled from that set as well. So there you guys have it. That's part one of Mail Day. And that was a big chunk of it. Next up, we do have a really, really big parcel that I will show you right now. Actually, not a huge parcel. Could be, could be a lot bigger, but um, we're gonna keep it like that so that I don't show you guys my address. But there you guys have it. This parcel was sent to us by Casual Yugi Stuff. And uh, if you guys haven't seen his channel already, make sure you check it out because he's got an insanely cool Yu-Gi-Oh channel. And I will actually be pack battling. Okay, well, I'll spoil it, guys. I'm gonna be pack battling him in the near future here. And as you can see, he's supplied us with some pack battle ammunition. And we've got some really cool packs here. So we do have Galactic Overlord Unlimited booster packs, but really cool nonetheless. He's actually been opening these for his subscribers on his channel. So you guys, it's basically a box break. So if you guys want to check that out, um, I'm sure he will be selling more, more of these packs in the future. And they were really reasonably priced. I think they were like $350 US dollars each. And then obviously a bit more for shipping and stuff. But uh, really cool packs to have for the pack battle. I'm really excited to crack these open and hopefully beat him in a pack battle this time because I think we were, it was really close last time. It was really, really close last time, but we did end up losing just by it, like this much, literally so close, so close. We, we pulled a bunch of secret rares. He pulled a couple ultimate rares. So I think that did send him off over the top technically. So um, right now we do have our 10 packs of Galactic Overlord here. And these will be part of the pack battle, as will these guys right here. So we got some Storm Ragnarok Special Editions. As you can see, I love 5Ds now. I am a firm 5Ds person now. Like, I, I do love 5Ds. And uh, I'm starting to appreciate the sets that not a lot of people have been appreciating in the past. So Storm Ragnarok, Extreme Victory are two of those sets for sure. Even Raging Battle is an underrated set in my opinion, because it does have some really cool cards inside. Um, but not a lot of people like those sets compared to the Duelist Genesis, um, Crossroads of Chaos, um, Ancient Prophecy, things like that, guys. So really cool to see these special editions here. Shout out to Casual Yugi Stuff and, of course, the legendary Mr. Joey Wheeler for sending these things over to us so we can open them for our pack battle in the future. Um, aside from that, though, there are a few other items in this box that I'm very, very excited to show you guys. So first and foremost, another hero to add to my collection. Elemental Hero Plasma Vice. So this guy is from Gladiator's Assault. He is a secret rare, and it's a PSA 9. So gorgeous card here. Let's just take it out of the sleeve. And we do have a Phantom Darkness booster pack. Unfortunately, it's not sealed. <laughs> that would be insane if he sent us a sealed pack of the Phantom Darkness. But I sent this to him. I mean, he sent this to me because I traded him a Gyarados GX from Hidden Fates. Um, so that he can add it to his uh, Gyarados collection because he loves Gyaradoses. But I needed this empty pack. Um, for my Yu-Gi-Oh! GX uh, pack collection. So I do have every single pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX now. This is a Euro pack, so this is the only Euro pack that I will be adding to my collection. But for now, it'll it'll do as a placeholder for a North American pack. But I mean, it looks the exact same. It's a little darker. And uh, obviously the crimping is slightly different and the back is slightly different. As you can see, there's like a little... Um, like the pull tab is just different here compared to North American packs that I can show you here. Um, this is a North American pack, but there you have it, guys. That is 
a beautiful Phantom Darkness pack to add to my uh, GX collection. I'll probably actually have to frame all those packs up because they look amazing. I really do like them. And here we have Plasma Vice PSA 9. So super, super cool. Another beautiful card to add to my collection. Uh, and one less hero that I need to hunt down. Um, I do have two other... Oh, I can't show you guys my address. Got and two other heroes right here. Where are they? Okay, there we go. So far. And so obviously I got Elemental Hero Tempest and Elemental Hero Wild Edge. The lighting is not great right now. Let me just see if this will help a bit. I don't know if that helped. Oh my gosh, there's so much dust on these. But uh, yeah, I've got three Elemental Hero Fusions right now. And I am currently hunting down more. So if you guys have any on my list, let me know in the comments below. Um, I don't have the list on hand right now, but I have a big list of heroes that I still need to track down in raw copies or graded copies. So let me know if you have any of them on Instagram. I have my list on Instagram, so check out my posts on Instagram to find that. And big ticket item here. This is the last thing that Casual UV Stuff and Mr. Joey Wheeler decided to send me. And this here is a token of appreciation to some degree. But it is also a really, really big purchase that I made right here. So let me just get rid of all these things. I'm pretty sure I showed my address to you like eight times, so I'm probably gonna have to edit that out. But here we have something that resembles the shape of a booster box. So what is it? Obviously packaged really well by Jamie himself, the one and only casual Yugi stuff. But uh, let's just have a look here and see what we have inside of this beautifully wrapped box. Any guesses on what it is? Let me know in the comments below. But uh, you can kind of see that there's a little 5Ds thing here. What do you guys think it is? What do you think it is? All right, let's have a look here because it's about time we unveil this beautiful, beautiful piece to add to our collection. It is a Duelist Genesis Judge Box. So it's not a regular Duelist Genesis booster box. It is a judge box because you don't actually see Yusei on the front of the cup on the cover of the booster box. And yes, the wrinkling on the wrap, uh, the wrapping looks terrible to be honest with you. Um, but this is a sealed judge box of the Duelist Genesis. It is really, really heavy because of in part due to this plexiglass um, case that we have that I am trying to figure out how to take off, but I will do that later. I think you just slide it off, right? I don't know. I think it just slides off, but I could be wrong. I don't want to break it right now because it, it's protecting our beautiful Duelist Genesis judge box. Um, but as you can see here, it is a legit booster box. It, some people may say this is fake, but it's definitely not. It has the original Konami logo, not the original, but um, the second ver uh, iteration of the Konami logo, which matches this time frame. English edition. Look for the legendary ghost rare. Ra uh, not Rainbow Dragon, Stardust Dragon inside this beautiful box. Uh, so this is an unlimited box because they didn't really have any first edition Duelist Genesis booster boxes because the only way you could get first edition Duelist Genesis packs was from different tins that came up at the same time as the Duelist Genesis. Oh, I think this is just a slide thing here. Let's figure this out. I feel like you unscrew this and then these pieces will slide out and then you can access the rest of the booster box. I mean the rest of the the box but it basically just fits together really nicely and huge shout out to Mr. Joey Wheeler for this beautiful plexiglass case as well because without it this box would not be in this beautiful condition. I know the seal does not look great but uh, there's a long story regarding these judge boxes and Mr. Joey Wheeler is trying to figure out the history of these judge boxes and I'd say that I think Mr. Joey Wheeler and Casual Yugi stuff, Jamie, were trying to sell these boxes for about $2,000 each, US dollars, because they are not your regular booster box. They are not your regular, the Duelist Genesis booster boxes. Um, because the pull rates inside these judge boxes are supposed to be insane. So I'm excited to see what they find. Um, but I am super excited to see what's actually inside this box as well. I want to crack it open, but I think I'm going to keep it sealed because it is a piece of history. And there's only so many of these boxes around these days. Um, but there you guys have it. That is my Duelist Genesis Judge Box, the biggest purchase that I've made this entire year, probably, um, in terms of collectibles. And I'm super excited to have it. Thank you so much to Casual Yugi Stuff and Mr. Joey Wheeler for making this possible. Uh, they gave me a really good price for it. They did not charge me the full $2,000 that they are asking for one of these for it. 
So huge shout out to you guys, and I really appreciate you guys uh, for, for sending me this and for sending us all this pack battle ammunition. Super, super happy about all this. Uh, we're going to be cracking these open and some extreme victory packs, so make sure you guys stay tuned for our pack battle. I know I said I wouldn't spoil it, but that is who I am pack battling against in the near future, so stay tuned for that, and I will catch you all in the next video. If you guys want to purchase any of the extreme victory packs uh, from me, by the way, or even Cosmo Blazer or the um, Return of the Duelist packs, let me know in the comments below. Let me know on Instagram. Contact me there directly at dlegend underscore Yu-Gi-Oh, and I would be more than happy to talk to you guys about prices and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon content. Catch y'all soon. Peace.